<laughs> I'm in my closet. I'm trying to pack for this trip to California and I have recently purchased a few things that were more spring-like and so forth and some of those things I'm packing for this trip even though it's not going to be terribly springy there but um, I'm still you know wanting to to put in some things in my bag that I can put on when it gets really warm and like in the you know middle of the day or whatever so I do have some new things that I purchased for spring that I've not shown and so I thought I'd quickly while packing I thought no eh, you know maybe I should just show these things I originally intended to kind of do a try on and that kind of a deal but you know what that's just not gonna happen this time um, so let me just show you the things that I've picked up recently to just start to transition myself into spring and they will be some of the things that I'll be packing for my trip to California got to get right on that so let's get going a few of these items I showed in my um, Florida haul so if you didn't see that these will be new to you and if you did see that I'll try to be quick about it so anyway let's get going okay first of all let's do shoes okay I have shoes and I have clothing items shoes first of all what are the things that I did show in my um, Florida haul were these uh, Olakai sandals I thought I'd try a new pair of Olakai. I've never tried these before and tried a whole bunch on. These are the ones that made the cut. I might be bringing these and they're just very, very comfortable with the arch support and they form to the foot. I'm very, very excited about these. So that's one of the items that I may be taking with me, still trying to decide. Um, and then I discovered Charleston Shoe Company. I don't know where they've been all my life, but now I am in love. So while I was in Florida, I picked up this pair. And I can't, I can't ever remember the names of these. I don't think it says on here either. Um, love them because they have the stretchy bit. They fit, I mean, just so comfortably. Love these. They're not too high, but they give a wedge look. Incredibly comfortable. So I got this pair in the color linen. And then while also in Florida, I purchased this pair because I wear a lot of white and gray, especially in the spring. I don't know what it is about white and gray together. I like a medium gray, but I love that look. And these are white and gray stripe, same sandal, so stretchy and wonderful, love them. And then while I was there, I saw another pair that of course I just thought, wow, those are the ones. I love them, but they didn't have my size. So I ordered those. So I debated whether to get these two or not, and so I thought I would just order them, try them on, see what I think, because they're so similar to the others, because I got them in the same color, which is my perfect summer color, which is linen. Um, but I had to get these, and once I bought them and tried them on, end of story. The most comfortable, stretchy, they just stretch with any part of your foot that you need, I mean, honestly. <laughs> These could not be more perfect. So these are the two next to each other. And there's a coral color in this brand, this uh, design that I want also, but that's just gonna have to wait. So those are my Charleston Shoe Company finds that I am so excited that I get to wear those again um, this upcoming week in California. So there's that now. Around here, it won't be sandal weather for quite a while, but I needed to find something to just kind of transition in the winter cold months. I generally do boots almost exclusively. It's kind of hard to find a shoe, like a winter shoe, because some loafers and things, if you wear socks, it's just weird. If you don't wear socks, you freeze. So it's boots, boots, boots all the way until it's warm enough to pretty much get your sandals or you know your ballet flats, that kind of thing out. So I kind of wanted something a little different than the ballet flat deal that I do in the spring. So, these are the ones that I came up with. And because I have feet that require arch support, they just do, it makes it a little bit trickier, which is why you know I buy shoes basically with arch support. If it's a heel, I don't need it as much because the weight's on the ball of my foot. But if it's a flat shoe, I really do need arch support. And so I've been looking at Vionic. I've had a lot of people suggest those to me. And I found a couple pairs that I really, really like. So I wanna show you these first. This is like a open loafer with this lovely, it's silver toned bit in the front, all leather. They have arch support, they have cushion. 
Oh my gosh, are these comfortable and they look so cute. I put them with some white jeans and black top and super cute and then just like a bag of some color and it's just a really cute outfit together. So these are very, very exciting to me. Got these, um, very happy with them. I think that those will just really be perfect for spring. And then to dress things down a bit when I just want to be wearing um, something comfortable, uh, casual, and be uh, have some support with myself also that just sort of blends into any outfit. I found these. Aren't these the cutest things? These are the perforated Medi, I believe. I'm not sure, but I think that's what they are called. They are so comfortable. I believe this color is like a called gray, if I'm not mistaken. The stretch gussets, cushion, arch support. Cannot beat these, so I'm very excited about these. They look already, I've uh, worn them around the house just to make sure they're comfortable uh, with just jeans and a cute little top and it was perfect. So very happy about those. So those are the new shoes that I've purchased for spring. And then when it comes to clothing, I got, um, I got a couple new pairs of jeans. Now I have not done, you know, destroyed, distressed, you know, those type of jeans in just forever. And for some reason they appealed to me this year. Now I have a ton of jeans that are regular, plain white ones and plain regular ones, whatever. Didn't need any of those so much, but I thought I would just dip my toe into the destroyed, you know, what is it called? Distressed denim. And so I ended up at Loft. I've shown these before. I got these Loft jeans that have just this distressing. And super cute love them I can roll them up or leave them full length and they will work year-round very excited about those and because I really liked those I decided and I love white jeans in the, in the summer and spring and summer distressed which I like just a little bit and like a little bit right here and that's it so it's much harder to tell that they're distressed which is good because you know I don't know yeah I'm really excited about these and the regular jean colored ones so excited Okay, I got this from A New Day at Target. They have the cutest things in that line. Thing looks like A New Day. So anyway, it's just a tunic length, really light knit um, sweater. A little bit of a high-low effect there at the bottom. And it's just in a light blue. I just figured this would be so cute with jeans, with black pants, like little black ankle pants with a scarf. It would be so cute with white pants. Um, I just think that the, being that it's a lightweight sweater and it's a light color, this just goes well into that little weird time between winter and spring. Then the other top I got at Target that same day is just a short sleeved, it has a little tie at the sleeve. A little, um, just a tank. It's got a high-low bit at the, at the waist, or, you know, at the bottom. And it's just kind of a scoop neck. It's also a New Day brand. Really liking this. Again, cute with white pants, cute with jeans, whatever. I love white and gray together, so there's that one. And then I was roaming around Etsy one day, um, right after my trip to Florida, actually, and I could not resist this. It's just a t-shirt. I'm probably going to wear this mostly around the house. Um, probably to yoga class, things like that. But it's just a v-neck tee and it says vitamin C junkie, as in the ocean. Couldn't resist that. Too darn cute. Just, you know, again, gray and white. I have a problem. Anyway, there's that. These last four items are from Loft, one of my very favorite clothing stores ever, it seems to be. I get a lot of my items from Loft. This color was just so pretty. It's kind of a royal, like a French blue. In a way, not a royal blue, but more of a French blue, definitely. And it's just a lightweight, silky type of a blouse. It's got the white buttons or the cream colored buttons. So that kind of also makes it a little more springy in my mind. And I just think it'd be kind of cute, just like par partially tucked up in jeans of any sort. It would be cute with black slacks or a black skirt. Um, it'd be cute with like a little sweater or cardi or flyaway over it. And then you can take that off when it gets too warm. Anyway, I thought this was a really pretty color and I love this one very, very much. So I'm really excited about this new top from Loft. And then since I'm starting to embrace pattern a little bit more, I really enjoy this pattern. I love the colors, anything navy and white, and then you add some coral in there, I'm, I'm right there. I think this is super cute. A uh, really nice little, it's got a little gathering at the wrist, which makes it perfect because I almost always pull my sleeves up and then that elastic there just kind of hugs it and keeps it in place. A good spring top. So I was very happy to just jump right on this one and pick that up and I will be taking that to California with me too.
Like I said, I have a problem when it comes to gray and gray and white. <laughs> I grabbed this to try this on in the, the you know dressing room and I thought, you know, if it's not perfect, forget it because that was the last thing I need. Well, it just looked so cute. It was flowy, it fit perfectly, loved it. It's just a V-neck blouse, silky with a little bit of a bell sleeve. It's even got this ruffle here, which I really thought I wouldn't like, but it works really well. And I just really enjoyed this blouse. I thought it was really cute. Again, it just flows, which I tend to really like. I really need to work on getting things that actually fit me more to the body a little bit more. Every time I wear something that fits my body, everyone asks me if I've lost weight. So that kind of tells me that I wear things too big. Uh, it's a slow process. I'm working on it. But anyway, I just thought this was a very cute blouse. Love it. And again, white pants, black pants, jeans, can't go wrong. So there you have that one. One last. This was so, so cute. It is a short sleeved tweedish looking kind of a fabric. It looks to be navy and white and corally peachy co colors, which I, again, really like. And it just sort of has this um, almost, almost a ballet type of a neck. It's got some texture to it. And it just looks really cute with, again, white pants, jeans, gray jeans, black pants, uh, anything you want. <laughs> So it just kind of in then with like little ballet flats or the little loafers and ankle pants just super cute So I thought well, how fun is that again? The weight makes it perfect for spring and the short sleeves. So very excited about this one, too So that is pretty much it for all the things that I'm taking with me that I've purchased recently for spring and um, Yeah, I got to get packing and I will see you guys soon. Thanks. <laughs> Bye